ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's the pick here, guys, in this modern cube draft? I, I'm going to tell you, man, I don't like this Fallen Shinobi, dude. I'm not sure you get away with robot vacuums and pet air. My vacuum design for pet air worked overtime to get worked overtime to get the cat. No, yeah, dude, that's that's what it is. Like when I clean out the the bins for the robot vacuums, it's just literal mono pet hair, and I'm like, come on, come on, Hunter, get it together. I had a stroke, and your YouTube videos got me through the hospital. Stay. Dude, the phenom, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm so sorry about your about your stroke, buddy. Like I hope you're doing okay. Uh, it's definitely not so severe. Really appreciate, really appreciate the kind words, man. I'm glad I could help. Well, Storm is not an option. I think it's Shinobi. Like, I know we just drafted Shinobi, but... Uh, it's too good. It's just such a good card. And we can draft a little bit more around it this time. Tree Spear also very good. Shinobi has a place in my heart, though, guys. Oh, I like a Time Warp. Time Warp does, too. I got a soft spot for a time warp. Yeah, I want a time warp. I like a virtuous gear hulk. Is it rash me? What if we rash me? I kind of like blue green and splashing the fallen shinobi. Well, the thing is, like, I think it is salty time because just want to, I don't want to be basic blue black again, and I kind of want to play Rashmi here. Oh, Nullhide Ferox, that's fascinating. Prime Speaker Vanifar. What if we just take Vanifar and then we're just like a sweet Vanifar deck? Let's try it. Let's try all these blue green four four mana legendary ladies. Champion of Wits is a good one to uh, prime speaker away. I like a Vivian Reed. I think we just want Champion because Champion... Oh, Nightfall Spectre is good too. But if we're primarily blue-green, it's harder to cast. Champion of Wits just seems good. It gets it into the graveyard. Yeah, let's take Champion of Wits. Ooh, I like a Creeping Tarpit. We can also... Actually, I'm pondering to rash me. Let's take the Creeping Tarpit. Creeping Tarpit's a solid land. If this Reflecting pool, pool comes back, I would be immensely grateful. I think Reflecting Pool is completely underrated. Glen Alendra Archmage, also a card that's great to, not only great to pod, but also great to, uh, to Fallen Shinobi. I do like a Watery Grave as well, just to make sure our mana is nice. I'm going to take the Glen Alendra Archmage, though. We still have Breeding Pools and Overgrown Tombs to help our mana. Jace Bellerin. Fertile Ground is good. Oh, Fertile Ground's nice. It's fixing. It falls on the right spot of the curve. 
Yeah, it's a pretty easy pick. I was waiting for someone to do the knife command. Oh, Vizier again? Oh, Simic Signet, though? Simic Signet's almost perfect. I think we want Simic Signet. It's perfect, and it lets us cast all of these. God, Vizier is so good, though. Hissing Quaggles. Oh, what about Chromatic Lantern or Nimble Obstructionist? Chromatic Lantern is very, very good. Yeah, I like Lantern better here. Virtuous Gear Hulk came back. I was interested in the Virtuous Gear Hulk the first time. I'm not a Master Waves fan in our deck yet. Knife goes in, guts come out. Wow. Nullhide Ferox. Dungeon Geists. So we have six creatures. I kind of just want the Nullhide Ferox. I haven't played it yet. Eh, Vivian Reed's good. Alright. Wow, Thrun came back. Okay. Rotting Regisaur. This is a very interesting list. Like, we have Virtuous Gearhulk, Fallen Shinobi, Rashmi, and Prime Speaker, Nullhide Ferox, and Rotting Regisaur. We have a bunch of cards we have not played before. And now we have a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I wish this Primeval Titan was in the next pack, but I'm just going to take Jace here, because... Come on, don't be stupid. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Misty Rainforest? And a Demir Signet? Oh, shoot. And a Phantasmal Image? Oh, shoot. Wow, Ghost of the Sun did call it. Jeez. It's definitely not Image. I mean, I would take Misty, Noble Hierarch, or Demir Signet over Image to make sure our mana's good. I think I just like Demir Signet here. We have so many good four drops. Yeah, I want to take the Demir Signet. Eternal Witness is nice. So is Muldrifter. We have a lot of five drops already. Yeah, we'll take Eternal Witness. I mean, Misty Rain for us also guarantees fixing. It gets two of our lands. I don't know. I So when I was with TCG Player, like, mass entry was not a feature they worked on regularly. Golgari Signet, did we just get all three of our Signets? Also, Hinterland Harbor is super nice. I think we're just Hinterland Harboring here. Steel Leaf Champion. Are we going to have the green for this guy? I like Mirror Battle Sphere if we're, if we're, if we're Prime Speakering. Yeah, I think it's actually Prime, uh, Mirror Battle Sphere. Especially with the amount of ramp we have. Ooh, Garrick. 
So are Temptation, Liliana, and Garrick. I mean, and Double Black is not really where we want to be right now. I think it's just Garrick. Garrick is bonkers. Triple Black Mask Worm, huh? Hmm. I like Eldest Reborn. I also just like Lumbering Falls. Could pot into Mask for him too. I guess one of the fixing though. I just want my, I want, I want my I want my mana to be good. Mimic Vat seems nice with Prime Speaker. I do like Assassin's Trophy. I think this is a Mimic Vat deck. Yeah, let's Mimic Vat. Duplicant? I need a six drop. That's a good one. Blooming Marsh. Probably better than Harmonize here. I like Tamiyo a lot. Mm, Farseek's decent. Gets two of our colors. We already have a bunch of ramp, though. Let's take Scavenging Ooze. It's a relevant ability. Me not taking Sphinx's Revelation? If you're referring to Consecrated Sphinx, I wouldn't pass that. But Sphinx's Revelation, I'm not like... I'm not super high on Sphinx's Revelation. I mean, I love the card, but... Oh, Eldest Reborn came back? That's pretty sweet. Why don't you marry it? Dang. That's hurtful. I don't know if Nullhead Ferox makes the cut here. Let's pack something. I like Solemn Simulacrum. Go for the Throat's also pretty great. Throw a Noble Drain is off the chain. Go for the Throat or Solemn. Lots of four drops, not much removal. I mean, we have Fertile Ground, Demir Signet, Golgari Signet, Simic Signet, Chromatic Lantern. I'm not sure we need to search for tomorrow. I don't even know if I want Rotting Regisar. Or Chromatic Lantern, even, because we have the three Signets and a Fertile Ground, all of which add multiple colors. Um, Yeah, I don't really care about Force that much. I don't think this is... I mean, Force is great for the sideboard, but I'd rather just... I'm going to play both Solemn or go for the throat of the main deck. I'm going to take go for the throat. Uh, I'm going to take Solemn. I like Solemn better. Overgrown Tomb. I do like an Overgrown Tomb. I'm going to take Overgrown Tomb. It doesn't seem that close. This pack's not great. I like Seagate Oracle. I like Overgrown Tomb better. Oh, Bird of Paradise. He said excitedly. Yeah, we'll Bird of Paradise here. Hornet Queen? I don't think we're collected companying. We're barely black. We, I mean, we've always been barely black. We've always had two black cards in our deck. 
doesn't mean I don't want black mana. I could also play Eldest Reborn, which is super nice. I do like Hornet Queen a lot. I also like Ugin. Can't. Ugin just kind of wins games, though. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Ugin here. And we have enough ramp. We have Solemn, three Signets, a Birds, a Fertile Ground. Like, we have enough ramp to actually make Ugin a thing. Golos is interesting. If we get Golos, we might just play Chromatic Lantern. I don't know if Hornet Queen's gonna wheel. I think you're I think you're pushing it Ghost of the Sun here. I kinda just like Golos here. Yeah, we're gonna play Golos and we're gonna play Chromatic Lantern here. Eh, Bird is probably better than one of these other two, right? Gristlebrand for eight. We can sack our mirror battle sphere to get a Gristlebrand. Which is pretty amazing. I think we just take Crystal Brand. It's the strongest card in this pack. By a sizable margin. Here's a Plow Under, which I think we're probably going to play. We're going to make some cuts, though. We can cut off. The, what if we just cut the Prime Speaker? I don't know if we're Prime Speakering here. I feel like Prime Speaker is always a card I'm just like, eh. This is 23, but like the amount of ramp we have is pretty ridiculous. Like six ramp spells, so it's actually like not a lot of action. Well, shit. This is like an eighth pick Consecrated Sphinx. What the hell is that, dude? I mean, we're just playing both. Duplicate is a great removal spell. Rattleclaw Mystic. Maybe we are. Maybe we are Prime Speakering. Because Prime Speaker, like, sacking Golos into Consecrated Sphinx, or, like, uh, Murderous Cut. We can take Pack Ride, but I don't think we're having enough black. I'd just rather have the Murderous Cut, because it's a supremely good removal.
Murderous God is like a one drop. Fallen Shadow is ideally a four drop. Double, 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 double. Still 26 cards? Jeez. We can probably play, we can definitely play 16 lands in this deck for sure. So we need two cuts. Not many toils or troubles. Yeah, that's true. Solid. That's a good point. I think I think Prime Speaker's just too cute. I think I'd rather just cast these cards. Maybe Mimic Vat's too cute without Prime. So yeah, let's do that. All right, this should be our. I think this is good. We can also attack with birds for Fallen Shinobi, which is pretty nice. Is Black Worth Splashing for Garrick and Fallen Shinobi and Murderous Cut? Yes, yes it is. We literally have no reason not to splash black. Like all the all the main deck cards that are black. Uh <laughs> that can help us get black mana. Like we have literally nine cards in the deck that get us black mana without any problem whatsoever. So like we have actually no incentive not to splash black. The deck is actively worse without black. <laughs> oh, good times. All right, so we're definitely going to add one just for Psalm Simulacrum. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then four, five, six, seven... Eight, and then we also have Demir Signet, Simic Signet, uh, Lantern, Rattleclaw, Fertile, Birds. Yeah, this should be totally fine. All right, let's let's run it. Wow. Like six two mana, one and two mana ramp spells, and we're like, nah, you just gotta do it naturally, dude. Two and one? Is that our record? Because then we can lose, right? Sixteen lands and uh I don't know what's going on anymore. I mean at least we get a solemn simulacrum next turn. That's a good one. Blue, blue, green, 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 black, black. Just got another blue. Uh, I will draw a card. Well, biscuits.
I watched the new Chic trailer from your Facebook. I don't know what I don't know what that. And how dare you have that cookie murder in our? What do you? I don't. I have no idea what any of this. Oh, Garrick, as in like you watched the new Shrek trailer. I think you mean. But I haven't even I haven't even watched that trailer yet. I got you. I got you, Sammy. Um. Yes, well, like, it's not like you misspelled Shrek as chic. Like, those are two completely different words. Like, that's either an autocorrect issue or, like, you weren't trying. Because, like, there's no way you thought one word was the other word. You know? Like, that's not an issue of spelling. That's an issue of, like, overlooking. At least that would be my guess. I wish they just had applesauce drinks. Like, I wish I could just have a cup of applesauce with, like, a straw. God, that sounds delicious. Apple juice extra chunky? I want my apple juice with pulp in it. Can I get some apple juice with pulp in it? Boom, boom, boom. It's your boy. Oh, Garrick just killed Garrick. Oh, Jesus. He had a family. Oh, man, I would love to have uh, a space theme set. What are your thoughts on the new Joker movie? It looks, it looks friggin' insane. Joaquin Phoenix is a goddamn treasure. I cannot wait to see, uh, I can't wait to see the new Joker. It looks like it's gonna be phenomenal. 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 Oh, and now they're going to get rid of this guy. And then we get to go Vivian Reed, kill your Oblivion Reed, and get my Garrick back. Mega Beast. This is nice because it lets Vivian go to two, and then they don't have enough pressure to actually uh, deal with this gentleman. ba da ba da 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 ba Hmm, hmm, hmm. Are you gonna cryptic command me, bro? No. Kapow. Oh man, Aldi sells applesauce pouches? So the thing is, like, I just want an applesauce pouch that's bigger than a cup of applesauce. Okay, we just win the game. We were going to fall in Shinobi all over them anyway, so. I don't even have a reason to, to sideboard yet. We didn't really see that much. Oh, 
God, I don't know where my ramp is, rampy ramps is. I'm gonna keep this. They went to six. We're on the draw. We got a champion of wits to discard some five drops if we need to. Okay. It's your boy. Well, we don't even have Vanifar in our deck. So I'm not going to like put Gristle Brand. I'm not going to put Vanifar in just to put also Gristle Brand in. I feel like that makes our deck a lot worse. I guess I could just get a big one of the big containers of applesauce and just drink it. Come on, give me a two drop so this guy doesn't flip. You're not gonna do it. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to deal with 3-3 for the rest of the game. I mean, to be fair, if your cube deck can't deal with a 3-3 attacking on turn three, it's probably got other issues like drawing two drops when your deck has five. Oh, they didn't do anything. I'm just gonna fill my. I'm gonna fill this cup with applesauce in the future, and you guys are gonna be like, "What's he drinking? It looks like he's chewing it." I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, bitches, that's applesauce, boy." Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Um, dip a dip a gear hulk and dip a f forest, I guess. The problem is we want to play four drops and five drops, so like maybe we get rid of creeping tarpit. No, because next turn we're gonna solemn, and that'll give us the fifth land. Yeah, that's fine. Creeping tarpit's just good, gooder in the longer run. That's a gooder land, guys. I get a haircut on Thursday. I'm real excited about it. Is applesauce just an American thing? Oh look, Simic Signet decided to show up fashionably late to the party. Let's get an island. Islands in the screen. No, my hair gets unruly when it's long. It's unreasonable. Like this is too long for me. I'm just like, no. Let's stop it. Oh good, an Avison. I got a Vivian Reed though. That's pretty good. Oh, they have one card in hand? That's great for us. Oh, yeah. I'm game. And they have one blue, so I'm not terribly afraid of counter spells. Kapow. She did. Oh, the mustache for Mike Foundation. That's a great idea. Uh, there's definitely no promo in MTGO as far as tickets go, Sammy. <laughs> Unfortunately. Tickets are like... What you should do is find someone selling tickets. And you can usually buy them for like 96 cents instead of a dollar. Which is just... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not much, but it adds up. So what I think we're going to do is going to attack with both and then we're going to fall into Shinobi. Shinobi, Shinobi. Da, do, 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 do. Or we can just play Garrick, kill this guy and attack for four. Alright, we'll do that. This 
Skipping up bound and a We have mashed apples, but it is quite hard to find in stores and considered a food for babies. Yeah, that's so applesauce is very similar to like what you'd probably it's it I wouldn't even be surprised if it was the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if applesauce and mashed apples were the same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google Italian mashed apples. That is not showing me what I want to see. This is, a, this is probably a den protector, right? It's one of the few. I guess it could be Hidden Dragon Slayer as well. One, two, three, four. We're like one mana away from casting Time Warp and Fallen Shinobi, which is really all I want to do. Let's get the Solemn back, because I think that's Shut just a better money. hit. 20 tickets, please. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> oh, God. It's hilarious because of... Well, 20 tickets, my good man. Oh, no. I've made a terrible mistake. Sammy, you are awesome, buddy. I love you. Oh, man. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus. <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't have been as funny as it was, but it definitely was. Oh man. Yeah, our deck is. Yeah, we're already 2 0. Basically, can't lose. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One barky boy. <gasps> Guys, we have Golos and Chromatic Lantern. We're living the dream. Guys, it's happening. Neither are past. We had two past opponents? I thought this was only the second round. What? Solemn Simulacrum. Yeah, that's fine too, I guess. Well, that's see, that's hard to deal with because now we take five and then we take eight. Yeah, that's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This card has been pretty unfun. So here's the thing, we could go lows here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have enough mana next turn to activate. All right, well. Alpha Wolf, good to hear, buddy. I will let you know. I'll be like, yo, Alpha Wolf, I'm in Denver. Buy me some food. Buy me some dinner. Ooh. 
What's the verdict here? What are they doing? I'm a three. Can they just lightning bolt me and end it? Oh, they did not. Fascinating. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We don't have enough mana to do two things. That is unfortunate. This is obnoxious. Time to time warp, I don't know. I think we just have to do it, right? One. A two. Red. Black. But we might as well time warp first, right? Yeah, we might as well time warp first, right? This is where they go kill your Golos in response, and then we're like, oh, that's sad. I guess we have no chance of winning this game now. Interesting. I don't want to attack if they have, like, something degenerate. I just don't see a point to it. Okay. All right. Might as well do it. Uh, we can go red... White, black, one, two. Rashmi, Birds of Paradise. And that's how we died. All right, so this one fucking Thalia really just won the game for them. Congratulations. It's really obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. It's such an obnoxious card. Like, our whole hand is great against that. Like, we can just play Mirror Battlesphere. No worries. But everything comes into play tapped, so they just get a free combat. I mean, like, we were hoping for, like, Murderous Cut, Duplicate, Garrick, Ugin, um, Jace, maybe to bounce one of their things first and then play another creature. I see. I can see Stillleaf Champion even being a thing. I can see Doomfall being fine too. Take out a Gear Hulk for a Den Protector. Actually, Gear Hulk seems fine. Um, take out Plow Under. I think duplicate's fine. Oh, snap keep. We have three we have three green sources for this guy. We just have to wait till turn three. Do I Doomfall here? That is the question. No. It's the children who are wrong. Oh, jeez. Oh, lordy. Well, 
well, that guy's gonna go. And next turn we can play Lantern and Steel Leaf into Garrick the following turn. That seems good. Thalia? Jesus. Never mind. It's not bad. Fallen Shinobi off the top so I can attack with this Bird of Paradise. One time. It's working quite well for them. We have one, two... Now let's play this. Intimidate, huh? <sighs> well, we're killing that now. Or do we kill the Garrick to get back? Or, yeah, the Kite Sail Freebird to get back Garrick. That is the question. We have seven mana right now. No, definitely not. I mean, the problem is that, like, what does he go to? He goes to five, six, he goes to six. We could chump block here, make a beast, kill next turn, and then we have mere battle spirit to block. Let's do that for now. Sure. Yep, now I feel bad about our decisions. Unless we draw Vivian Reed, which would be gas. Sure. Guess we'll go to one. Virtuous Gear Hulk. So one on here, one on here, one on here. You're blocking here so you get to survive. I don't care about you surviving. Maybe it's three on... Three here, one here. You're just going to chump block here. No, Beast has to have one, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Alright. Well, we reset the Glenelanger Archmage, which is nice, but if they have any removal spell, we're dead. So, I think getting rid of Thalia was probably a better play. We, we're very too greedy with the Garrick, I think. 
No, we're not dead because, yeah, we're definitely countering that. Oh, it's an activated ability, so I have to actually uh, pay two. So I guess we'll just let it stay. Oh, they didn't activate it. That's great for us. Wow. Yes, countering it was death, which is why we did not do that. Alright. Here we go. <gasps> Conclave Tribunal! We're no longer in the game. Yep, that kills us. I forgot about Intimidate. That's fucking obnoxious. Wow, that's so obnoxious. That's really frustrating. You just work your ass off to, like, beat the... I guess we could have killed this. Like, if we kill Espeth, we stay at one. But we only have three blockers, right? So we need to get rid of a creature. It's so dumb, dude. Keep. Snap keep. Turn three Jace on the play. We're doing it. Uh, the beast token was not flying. This guy could just die, though, and then we just never hit a fourth land. That's my presumption. Yeah, that's fine. No one cares about all that.
Let's draw some karate boys. No lands that come to play untapped, huh? Well, that's too bad, I guess. I guess we can put mono seven drops back. Play a land. Fertile ground on this guy. And then we'll just pass the turn. Vivian Reed would have been nice this turn. Been able to see this is why I hate these lands so much. No, there's no storm in this cube, because it's a modern cube, so you can't really... There's none of the... Yep, that's, that was the dude I was expecting. I mean, I guess we just duplicate that guy and feel very okay with it. Ooh, if we can hit it a land, we can play that guy instead. The thing is, if they have, like, Pact of Negation, Force of Negation, like, it's... And we're still going to Jace because we want to hit land drops. We did. Um, put you two back. It's totally fine. Land. We can also play Vivian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't do both. I think we just duplicate here. Are we putting them on Force of Negation? If we're putting them on Force of Negation, this is a terrible play. If we're not... If they don't have it, this is just better because we get to have a Garrick on board that's a, that's alive that can't be dealt with by... by Ral. Resolved. Wow. That's nuts. Oh, they burst lightning to that guy. And they're like, oh, then I'll just play a sparkable. Wow, Jesus fucking crying out loud. Snapcaster Mage taking out two planeswalkers, a hell of a thing. Maybe duplicate would have been better than we can actually use our Garrick on this guy. Because now we have to deal with this guy. And I don't think we actually have a way to do it. Which is a lot worse for us. I don't know if you guys knew that. I mean, like, we know we're going to hit Mirror Battle Sphere. Is there any other card that can deal with this this Ral? Like, I don't think so, man. Like, I think we just lost to Ral because we played Garrick instead of Duplicate. Which is really hard to just 
fucking pick. It doesn't matter. Just pick one. God, draw two cards and deal four damage to anything is just a stupid... That's such a ridiculous ultimate. Alright, these are what we would have drawn off champion, so... Yeah, nothing. They didn't ultimate Ral. That seems insane. Well, murder is cutting this guy at instant speed. Time warp was what I was afraid of. Yeah, like they just go consecrated Sphinx time warp. Here we go. Icefall Regent. Well, that's annoying. We have Eternal Witness. So I, I, I kind of just want to keep certain cards in the graveyard, but I don't think it. I think just actually being able to play a spell this turn is more relevant, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we can spend two on this. One, two, two, three. He did. Oh, why did I take two there? That was stupid. That was not my intention. Because I was thinking of duplicate. Maybe we duplicate this guy. Yeah, let's duplicate that guy. Because Vivian's cheaper next turn. This is a better use of mana this turn. Well, alright then. Jenna, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> the red tats. <laughs> oh, man. No, you were probably summoned because our opponent. That just, that makes total sense, right? Is it round three? Jeez. Well, there you go. There you go. I has the confusion. Yeah, it's it's tough. I understand. I understand your loyalties are split. I totally get it. Okay, so they're gonna bounce this guy, draw two. Yeah, we're just going to the next game. I'm not gonna fucking deal with Ral Emblem. Scavenging is do do do. Take out Gear Hulk. We didn't see, like, any counter spells. Take out Champion of Wits. Bring in Thrun. Oh, Thrun seems great. Yay, also sad. Wow. Brutal. I kind of like Doomfall against them.
These slow ass hands are unbelievable. All right, let's try this one again. Oh, it's like I can't cancel. Um, I'm gonna send a land back this time. If we hit a land in the first three turns, we get to still play Jace on turn three. I, I like having Golos because it definitely just smooths things out. All right, well, we're gonna play this instead because I don't want them to burst lightning. Or what was the other card? They they Shut burst up, lightning against something else, our guy. I have been thinking about making a new cube, a Planeswalker cube, cards that are interact with and have the Art of Flavor text Planeswalkers. That actually seems good. It seems like there's definitely enough. Well, we did not draw a land, so I guess we are... I guess we put, should have put Golos back, and then we're like, well, if we hit, we, we just guaranteed to play Jace, and then we can't lose, right? So that was not ideal, I guess. I don't know. I feel like th this game can be summed up in two things. One, our mulligan decision on this game. Okay, well, we got a a slight reprieve here, which is super nice. Hmm. Wow. They don't get this mana to their main phase. They actually can't pay for Pact. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> Jace is a hell of a magic card. I was like, well, they get the fifth mana from this. But wait, this doesn't happen till their main phase. Oh, that's incredible, dude. I kind of like Dissolve, to be honest. Wow. Do we just want Nullhide Ferox as like a big fat beater? I want to take Time Warp out. I'm not sure I love Time Warp in this, in this configuration. I'll take the Rash Me out, too. It seems too cute. What if I just get all these big, beefy creatures in here? Excuse me. Um... Like, he brought in Steel Leaf, Nullhide, Ferox, Thrun. Yeah, alright, let's see how this goes. Love it. Love it. Wow, that pact was fantastic, dude. Alistair Kane, like, five minutes ago, I was like, people never miss their packs on Moto. Or do they? He lives, he lives, okay. If we draw a green source that comes into play untapped, we just get to slam a Steel Leaf champion. And that seems pretty insane. Okay, we win the game. And then next turn we can go Nullhide Ferox? Wow. Okay. Ugh, for fuck's sake. Sensor, seriously? Like, I get to play 5-4 on turn 3 because everything goes right and they have a sensor. Sure. What do you think of the new 4-4 with all the abilities? That card's insane. Thank you. 
Selfish Comics, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, God, guys, are you ready for this? Oh, jeez. Oh my god, you're gonna dismember this? Come the f are you serious? Is this real life? Sensor blink dismember. Like, come on, dude. They have two cards in hand. Like, we can just play Nullhide Ferox here. That seems okay. Let's do that. Oh god. This is what it, this is what it feels like to want to actually vomit because And of course we don't have a sixth mana, we just have and we can't actually play birds now because of this idiot. So I guess we just go Simic Signet into Nullhide Ferox. And then we just trade. Actually that's a pretty good trade. I mean presuming that they don't Oh, they didn't actually put a counter on this, that's pretty good. Not terrible, not terrible. I mean they could literally just go like Five mana burst lightning, shoot it for one. Yep, here we go. Wait, they don't have the mana for that. Char. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> like, this is actual unbelievable. <laughs> like, just comically unbelievable. Jesus. All right. Let's try it again. Like, they've had the perfect answer for everything. Dismember for our Fallen Shinobi. Blink of an Eye for Nullhide Ferox. Sensor for Steel Leaf Champion. And Char for the other Nullhide Ferox. And it's just like... And then, like, having Infernal Titan as you're, like, your one dude. It's like, all right, cool. And I assume you have Burst Lightning as your last remaining card. Oh, I guess you just get to pump it. I guess you don't even need that, do you? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, kind of tilted right now, I'll be honest with you. Like... Like, the problem is playing Consecrated Sphinx and Birds of Paradise doesn't really do much here. But I don't know actually what we can draw off of their deck that would deal with this guy. Two, three, four. I guess it's just better to draw two cards. Yes, probably because we can draw like Murderous Cut and things. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to not...
Like, I can't even handle it, man. Like, this is the most frustrating game I've ever played. That was absolutely unbelievable. That was that was the most incredible four cards that you that you could have, I guess. Like, it, I, cool. Like, unbelievable. Yeah, that's infuriating. Wow, I don't think I've built this tilted for a long time. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. I don't know. I don't know why. Like that game just absolutely tilted me. Like, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.